What is going on, everybody? Jimbo Thick here. We are back with more Sotex campaign. Sorry, it's been a little while since I could pick this up, but we're back in it. And of course, we have uh, some interesting mashups now because the Dark Elves have decided to get involved. And in so doing, they have incurred my wrath. Um, I'm about to take on Crone Hellebron with Tenawan's army, and this is pretty much. Uh, I'm going to end up swapping out the Skin Cohort eventually. Um, I don't know, maybe some more... Uh, these Red Crested Skinks are actually good now. Uh, you, you see they got a 56-48. Now, they don't have shields, but we really don't need them <laughs> to have shields. And the Chameleon Stalkers are... Wow, they are potent. Very, very potent. In addition to that, um, as you can see, we do have a full setup of hunting packs as well as uh, Bastilodons. We still have this Blessed Carnosaur, which, eh, I mean, we'll keep it. Eventually, I want to sub these guys out for something else, though. I'm not sure what, but um, for now, they're just kind of a, a holding force for now. But we'll see. Regardless, though, it says I'm going to lose this, and there's no way in hell I'm losing this fight. Um, Crone Hellebron, while I do believe she is on her uh, Altar of Cain, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to rip her to pieces. Uh, likewise, it looks like maybe same thing might be here with her uh, with her death hag, night hag. Um, the rest of these guys, uh, masters, and eh, whatever. But the, the rest of our army is kind of bullshit. Like just dread spears, we will tear through some dread spears. Um, and uh, black heart corsairs. Now they can be annoying just because they're fast. But honestly, I think. Yeah, we're about the same speed, so we can actually chase them down and do some damage to them. Um, he does have two units of Dark Shards. does have a bit of a ranged advantage. Now, the only kind of scary units are the Man-Eaters with great weapons, and then, of course, the, uh, the pistols. So we'll have to focus them down as soon as we can, but other than that, I, I see this as being a no-brainer here. Yeah, we're going to go and fight this. Oh, I didn't have my sacrifices to Sotek ready. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Let's see here. The hunting pack can't get in range immediately, but we will run them up as soon as we can. That's going to be huge. The Bastilodons. The, the Ark of Sotek with the, uh, with the, the actual um, uh, Ark of Sotek ability is just so good. The Bastilodons are just kind of, eh, whatever. But uh, when you put them up against all of this other stuff, they are really good. Pretty good charge bonus, too. Um, I might sneak these guys around. Maybe. Hold on. Whew, sorry about that. Let's see here. All right, let's get the rest of you guys kind of ready. I don't need to really rush up. I need to kind of get in position and then uh, just move forward. Yeah, no reason to rush. Keep you guys out of the dense forest. Large creatures get a penalty for being in a large forest. Uh, you, as well as, of course, Sotek. And Sotek, uh, now, Tenawan, now has the... Um, <clears throat> uh, the burning alignment because he's actually on a uh, solar engine. Uh, I'll put you guys up here. We'll run you guys in that way. And the rest of you can just kind of run in together. Think these guys in behind and then just rip and tear. Hell, we'll actually do this. Mm. 
Oh shit, they see me? Yep. However, we're going to draw fire with this manticore and let it just get shot to pieces before anybody else does. Let Cron Hellebron get jacked up right there. That wasn't smart on her part. Actually, go ahead and activate his arc. My bastards. I really want to hit that. Alright, he'd have to move pretty far. So then just kind of mess them up. Like so. Big damage. Massive damage, one might say. fashion block of doom there. Right now we're just peppering them. They're getting messed up. I can actually move you guys away because the Carnosaur can easily take care of Crone Hellebron. Yeah, she'll get eaten quite badly being on that Manticore especially. Taking care of pretty much everything else here. Don't you guys come back this way, start getting into them. Same thing, same thing. Give him 
good physical resist. I really need you guys to get out of that and start helping me with the rest of this. I hate when they don't uh, really follow orders completely. It gets really frustrating. She's already broken. She's pretty good right there. It collapsed. Kill as many as we can. Man, those stalkers are brutal. So we get all the death hag. God, it, our hunting pack was almost completely useless. start weathering fire into some of these guys. Get them slowed up. I really don't want anybody to live through this. enough. Alright. Of course we'll take our sacrifices. As you can see, a few turns have passed. Um, a little over ten turns have passed since uh, last we actually streamed. Right now I'm really just uh, showing the Dark Elves what's what. Because they're not going to be able to do much to me. Not much at all. Really, I was just driving them away from uh, uh, Pahuax. They're making moves on me, left and right. Um, trying to defend myself as best I can, but you can only do so much. Ooh, we can take a black arc? <laughs> oh, they're going to regret that. As you can see, let's put this out. We do have the second um, prophecy awoken, so we can, we can actually start getting uh, Saurus, which I really want to. I think I don't have a third army. Yeah, and he's starting to grab some Saurus, which is why we're slightly in the negatives. But um, to each his own right now. We're really just building up our provinces. Trying to keep everything afloat for now. I've got Skaven pouring in by the truckload everywhere I look. So between these three armies, this is all I can work. This is all I've really got to work with right now. A, a line of source would do way better than these damn skinks. Just in sheer damage. I may well sub them out. However, I do want to destroy this black arc. And like a valiant defeat, that's just not gonna um, that's not gonna happen. Let's go ahead and first off. Well, let's see what we got. Alright. No. So I don't have anything up. Grab armor. We're gonna grab Jungle Swarm. We got a shitload of sacrifices here, so. Uh, that's just kind of untainted. We really don't need any of that. Hmm.
Poke order growth. There's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, cast root points no way, for sure. No way. Really? That's all I needed to do? Oh shit. Man, we can get we can get some good shit now. What is the uh, great invocation of Sotek? Fuck it, we'll, we'll, we're about to find out what it is. Her effect good against armor. Wow. Okay, let's take down this black arc. And as you can see, we have Lord Croak in our army. Oh, damn. Oops. And Lord Croak is impressive. It's not going to be able to use his big spells, though. Which kind of sucks. Um, however... Yeah, we at least get that damage resistance in. Alright, we got Fire Leech Bolas that we can run in here. Uh, keep them away from some of those flyers. There doesn't appear to be a lot right there. We'll move them over here. We'll run them in and out, just kind of strafing. Really, we can force these guys to come to us. Because we have all the advantages here. Mostly because we got this blessed Stegadon. So we can use it to pull the rest of them in there. And I'm gonna stumble in with you guys, as well as get you guys just kind of hang out back here and you'll reinforce when we need you to. Same thing with them. Hmm. Yeah, have you guys here? We'll actually run the hunting pack around this flank and have it just rip up everything they got over there. Our word catch it skink chief until we can get him on something better. That's about all we got. I guess that's that. You hit Corsairs. Yeah, hit Corsairs. We'll pile in, get hemmed up, and then we'll bring our salamanders around behind and we'll just start pelting the shit out of them.
Let's see what that does. I've never used it before. Curious. Holy shit. Wow, that was uh, an impressive amount of damage there. Meanwhile, Lord Croak can start really hammering away here. Let them all come. side actually I really want to play that game huh I'll regret playing that game going to annihilate this uh, this army I mean it is it's done already especially as soon as we collapse the uh, front line here it's gonna be bad Croc scores pretty much you got this beat. And they ran here, so they don't have much else to go on. As soon as the Crocs are gores, plus our chief and everybody gets on him, he'll uh, he'll collapse. Because he's surrounded now and he's the last man standing.
guys. How is he not getting uh, leadership? Just isn't dropping. Shit, I should have been right on him when I did it. Oh well. Let's fast forward through this junk. God, was he unbreakable? I guess he must have been. More sacrifices. Oh shit, I thought we would have killed him. Doing stuff, yeah. Now it's gone. We'll cover back here. Regroup. You, my friend. Hmm. to pick up. I don't want to go too crazy with stuff that he has because I don't want to go too far in the negatives. Chameleon skinks are just so much better. Maybe we should do Pterodon Riders for his army. Which means I'm going to want some more Saurus. Gotta do that. Blessed Temple Guard. Hmm. Do this for now. He's going to be fending off Skaven, so this is going to be his kind of shtick. He's going to have to move back here and start pushing the Skaven out once again. They want to move in on all my territories, and we gotta stop them. Well, let's go ahead and end the turn, I guess.
Hmm. Paw walks. Gotta put in that mystical barrier. Yeah, we'll get some more of that in as well. Let's actually garrison him in Pahawax. Well, Tenawan is going to make a move. On the Monument of the Moon. If we can take that, we can actually start hitting some of... Uh, raiding and hitting some of the other shit. If we could take Lothurn from him, that'd be a crippling blow to some of those... Uh, Dark Elves moving in. Now, we don't really need all of that stuff, but... Uh, yeah, if we can get rid of fucking Clan Squire, it's going to be a while before we can set out all the way to Clan Squire, though. The Dreadfleet's nearby. We could crush them. Ugh. So we got a long ways to go, <laughs> everybody. Long ways to go. Uh, 14 provinces is a lot. Plus, grabbing a hold of all these. They're mostly settled by other lizardmen, so I think we might be able to... Maybe be able to... Uh, get some kind of treaty with them, I hope. That would be ideal. Maneuver as best we can. Let's keep an eye on them. You move up here. You did good, some good exploring for me. You stay there. So tech here. Got most of his spells leveled pretty well. Mm. Yeah, let's start getting some of his other abilities. one of them, we could crush one of their armies, no problem. This is where we start having issues. The council is disappointed. Hmm. 
keep an eye on him. Oh! Hell oh, yeah, get the star tower up and running. Get all this as beefy as we can. No. Actually, I might crush you guys. No, I don't want any corruption of any kind. Well, they didn't fall for the bait. That's a little concerning. No. Can't be done. No. time with that one. Yeah, we'll take them when we get the chance. This is going to get on my nerves. I'm not going to let them do that. fight this. Yeah, let's go ahead. Because I don't want to... Well, do I? That wasn't too bad. Get that renowned and feared for him. Ten of ones there. You're there. Do this. But I need them to be happy with us. So I can't afford to fight Blizzardmen now at this point as well. Let's move you a little closer so I can do something with you next turn if I need to. Ambush, close victory. Oh man, I don't want to lose anybody. Now we're going to have to fight it.
idea is going to be to immediately hit them, lock down the Knights of the Even Claw. If you guys in, they have nothing to stop me from just mowing them over. Move up. Move up. Move up. Move up. Same thing, move up and move up. Can't afford to lose anyone, so we gotta be very careful with placements here. Before they actually get here. start breaking. Thank God. <laughs> I'm still probably going to lose some units. one that sucks but hey and losing both They're super dead now. Uh, 
Hmm. I guess we'll fight this one. enough weapon teams to make give me some pause here. But we also have enough stuff that I feel pretty confident running in there. These Saurus will just rip through uh, anything they've got, uh, no problem. Take care of that cannon real fast. They wouldn't know what hit him. Move into the trees. Cannon's gone. Already. Defeated. Hmm. Guess we'll sit there. They're loose, but they're not going to be able to do anything. Start 
racking up some wins for our Slan. Meanwhile, Really? Hmm. Well, that sucks. Finally, we're now in feared. Uh, let's grab all of our buffs for our croak here. You know what? We might as well grab some ogres. Uh, the heavy cab, honestly, is probably the way to go if we ever get the chance. Still, can't go with you. Go ahead and end the turn. Now we take him. God, I gotta fight it too. It's how annoying. <laughs> Unfortunately though, guys, that's gonna be about all the time I've got for today. I can't afford to uh, put on another one. I have run out. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the campaign. I know I am super excited for Warhammer 3. There's just been so much stuff coming out. Especially all the stuff on Cathay. So let me know in the comment section uh, what you guys are looking forward to in that. And um, I would definitely, I uh, am looking forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Have a good day.